In yet another groundbreaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers at Cornell University have stumbled upon a hidden gem. A companion galaxy was found tucked away behind the light of the foreground galaxy's glow that appears to have hosted a number of generations of stars already. The glowy blob near the edge of SPT-041847 is only 1.4 billion years old, and it's not just any light show. Join us as we navigate through the infinite galaxies beyond us and see why this ancient galaxy has caused such a stir among space enthusiasts. The James Webb Space Telescope has been at the forefront of space discovery for a while now, and it's no secret that it has led us to new phenomena and theories about our universe. First published in the Astrophysical Journal Letter back in February 2023, this peculiar light show caught the eyes of many. As one of the brightest star-forming galaxies from the early universe, it was incredible to see the art of gravitational lensing come to life, which was also predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. The research team tapped into the spectral data ingrained within pixels captured by JWST's NIR spec instrument, unveiling the existence of a second light source concealed within the celestial ring. A closer look at the light's chemical composition confirmed the similarity between both galaxies' redshifts, hinting at their approximate equidistance from Earth. Further reaffirming their findings, astronomers revisited prior ALMA observations. They were surprised to find out that an emission line of ionized carbon from the earlier ALMA data closely mirrored James Webb's observations, serving as conclusive evidence for the newfound galaxy's presence. The foreground galaxy played lens artist, bending and magnifying its ancient light into a very distinct circular shape that astronomers like to call an Einstein ring. Also known as an einstein schwolzen ring or simply the Schwolzen ring, when light from a galaxy or a star passes a massive object that's heading straight towards the Earth, the light diverts and it appears as if it's coming from different places. But to capture its essence, the source, the lens, and the observer need to be in perfect alignment in order to observe the light take the shape of a ring. This particular Einstein ring itself was a rare phenomenon discovered by community members in 2022 who were uncovering the data for observations in James Webb's scientific collection. The photos were truly works of art, but they couldn't quite capture the bigger picture. Luckily, astronomers were able to look past the noise that concealed the hidden metal-rich galaxy. And it's not just the cosmic tricks that caught their attention. Upon a closer look, despite the young age of the companion galaxy, astronomers found out that it had already gone through multiple generations of star formation, which is unbelievable for a galaxy estimated at just over a billion years old. The research paper that highlights the important discovery was put together by none other than Amit Vishwas, a research associate at the Cornell Center for Astrophysics and Planetary Sciences. As the second author of the paper, he revealed that when the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile had taken images earlier, there were vague hints of the companion in the background. But since no one could decode them back then, those cryptic hints were thought to be random noise in the photographs. Fast forward to 2023, and suddenly, everything fell into place. The companion galaxy unveiled itself under the sharp focus of James Webb, and was hence tagged as SPT-0418 SE, becoming cosmic neighbors with the previously tagged SPT-041847, which is only 5 kiloparsecs. This not only made them cosmic neighbors, but further research showed there was a symbiotic relationship that the two galaxies could potentially foster. Due to the close proximity of SPT-0418 SE to its cosmic counterpart, astronomers believe there could be potential interactions or even a merger between the galaxies in the near future. This observation is important because it significantly contributes to our comprehension of the process of evolution that has led earlier galaxies toward larger, more complex formations. As we make sense of the cosmic ballet of galaxies and get into the celestial interactions, it's important to take a step back and think about how vast the universe is. Speaking of cosmic wonders, have you ever wondered what it would be like to hold a piece of the moon? Take a look at these beautiful moon miniatures that capture the details of our lone companion in the night sky in exquisite detail. Check them out by following the link in the description below. As far as galaxies in the early universe are concerned, these two are relatively modest in size. The galaxy tagged as SE is considerably smaller and less dusty than the other. And because of that, 
it appears bluer than the dust-obscured ring of its counterpart. When compared with other galaxies nearby with similar color palettes, astronomers believe there's also a possibility that these galaxies might exist in a massive dark matter halo with yet-to-be-discovered neighbors. Aside from its age, appearance, and mass, the most surprising thing about the companion galaxy was its mature metallicity. These galaxies contain substantial quantities of elements beyond helium and hydrogen, including important components like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. The research team approximated the element composition in these galaxies as similar to our Sun, which is over 4 billion years old and has inherited most of its metals from predecessor stars over an 8 billion year lifespan. According to research, the SE exhibits a robust star formation rate, confirming its status as a dust-obscured star-forming galaxy. Optical diagnostics suggest SE has near-solar elemental abundance, while the ring showcases supersolar metallicity. As far as the chemical makeup of the companion galaxy SE is concerned, Cornell's astronomers were able to break it down using different methods. These values are surprisingly high for a galaxy formed just 1.46 billion years after the Big Bang, and even in the paper, researchers were keen on the reliability of these estimates. The team used line ratios that were not affected by JWST calibration uncertainties, yet for argument's sake, the systematic uncertainty in these measurements was typically kept at 0.3 dex. The elevated metallicity and nitrogen to oxygen ratio in SE indicate a highly enriched interstellar medium, consistent with its substantial dust content and relatively soft radiation field. What's even more mind-blowing is the fact that SE's chemical composition surpasses that of star-forming galaxies at redshift 1 to 3, suggesting a rare and unusual chemical evolution history for SE. As the researchers examined the host galaxy, they found an even higher metallicity and nitrogen to oxygen ratio, exceeding three times solar abundance. This suggests a faster onset of galaxy formation and sustained high star-forming efficiency for the host galaxy shortly after the Big Bang. The high star-forming efficiency supports the idea of a decreasing depletion time toward higher redshift. Astronomers are open to exploring possible explanations for the high metallicity, proposing the early onset of star formation, or revisiting optical diagnostics at high redshift, as we just talked about. According to Amit Vishwas, this discovery also pivoted them to see the leftovers of at least a couple of generations of stars that have lived and died within the first billion years of the universe's existence. He also revealed that it's possible to consider a highly efficient star formation process that took place quite early in the universe, especially in light of the observed nitrogen to oxygen ratio. This ratio serves as a dependable metric offering insights into the number of star generations that have come into existence and eventually faded away into nothingness. Another doctoral student and the leader of the data analysis team, Bo Peng, also vouched for the metallicity of the new galaxy. He was excited to share that the new galaxy had a remarkable chemical abundance that took everyone by surprise. Furthermore, Peng also emphasized that the James Webb Space Telescope is incredibly helpful in altering astronomers' perspectives on the way the universe works and interacts with itself. He also revealed that the revelation of this concealed, metal-rich galaxy is proof of how transformative James Webb's discoveries have been in aiding our cosmic understanding. As we talked about earlier, even though these galaxies are much, much younger than the Sun and are a fraction of its size, they share quite a lot with the biggest star in our galaxy. Because of this, there are now plenty of questions reeling in the minds of researchers. What could be a possible spatial arrangement? Could the two galaxies possibly merge somehow? Even if they do, how would they meet halfway? But if they don't, what will restrict them from doing so? To build on their existing theories and untap the potential of the metal-rich galaxies, Researchers have now put forth a proposal for the James Webb Space Telescope to continue studying Einstein's ring and its companions. The proposal also aims to keep the companion galaxies in check and to look out for any reconciled potential differences that can be observed between the optical and far infrared spectrums. Bo appears hopeful and ecstatic to continue exploring this data because who knows if we're able to find more cosmic magic elsewhere in the universe. So what do you think? Is it possible for these ancient galaxies to merge together someday? Or can we expect more of these to pop up now that we have James Webb at our disposal? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.
We'll see you in the next one.